I'll tell you what, these days it seems like everything is tighter. Tighter budgets, tighter schedules, and in some cases even tighter clothes. I kind of unloosened the top button on these pants this morning. But what about our bathrooms and our shower space? That seems to be a little tighter as well. Well, we've got our master carpenter, Joe Campbell. Follow me, if you will, over here to a bathroom that he made. He kind of built this bathroom to illustrate how you can make a tighter space feel roomier. And helping me out this morning is our special guest, Colleen O'Connor. Good to meet you this morning, Colleen. Good to meet you, Danielle. This is really interesting because we're tied up in here. If I wanted to do a bust a move, I didn't have any space <laughs> to do that, right? But our bathroom should be a place to escape to. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make them bigger and roomier. How can we go about doing that? Well, I was in that situation not very long ago. Okay. And when I downsized, I went to a bathroom about like this, unfortunately. Really? And so I, I had a straight rod, and what I wanted was more room in the shower. So I went and I bought a, cur a curved shower rod. Okay. Put it up. It was perfect. I got more room in my shower. But what it did was what you see. It gives me less room. It makes in, the space right. tighter. Right. Imagine if there was a sink right where you are. You would have no space at all to do anything. And don't try to put a toilet in here. You just really. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So what I did was I made the, the standard curved shower rod rotate. So are when you now. Serious? Yes. Right, so you have more room in your shower, but when you're all finished, you flip it over and your bathroom just got instantly bigger. Women across America are loving you right now. <laughs> I want to talk about the feedback. What are women saying about this? Well, mostly it's thank you because, you, as you know, we talked a little bit earlier, sometimes you have three and four people in here. There's just no space. And then other times it's your refuge. When it is your mm -hmm. refuge, you want space. You want more space. And so this gives it to you. I love this. I want to talk a little bit about our unmentionables because as women, you know, we want to put our lingerie, yes, our little bikinis, yes, yes. all that stuff up there. Does this allow for that? It does. Now, when, when you have a straight rod, you have 50% of your drips going in the tub and 50% out. When you have a curved rod, you have 100% oh, cool. going out. But now you have the ability to hang everything up and when you hang it, it all goes in the tub. I love that. Let me talk about par uh, kids and pets. Mm -hmm. um, I've yes. got both. So uh -huh. the water tends to be all over the bathroom. It seems like there's more water outside than inside. It's so true. How does this help? Well, again, when you need more room in your, in your tub, Normally, you would have to open the whole shower to get the room that you need, the, the elbow room. With this, you don't need to. You can wash, you can wash your kids, you can wash your, your pets. It's great. And then when you're finished, you get the space back. Danielle, it's easy to do. Anyone can do it in 15 minutes with a screwdriver, and you're set. Well, Colleen, thank you so thank much. You this so is much. a terrific idea. Thank you. You know how good? I'm taking a shower right Go now. Go for it. Listen, I have three boys under the age of 10. I never get a chance to shower alone. Enjoy it's your not space. What you think. I will. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to create a little more room in your life or find out more about today's discussion, simply rotate on over to your nearest keyboard and type in the words rotatorrod.com. I'm taking a shower now. Bye. And I still don't have any privacy.